Overlord is now connected to Figma and is able to transfer layers from Figma to After Effects. In order to use Overlord in Figma, you must have an active Overlord 2 license. Licenses come with one year of feature updates, so purchases after November 11th, 2023 automatically unlock the Figma connection. Just update to the latest version of Overlord via the desktop app, then update the Adobe extension. The Overlord Community plugin is available in both the web and desktop versions of Figma. If you're restricted from using the Figma community, follow the desktop app instructions to install the plugin manually for the desktop version of Figma. Once installed, you can find the plugin by right-clicking in a Figma document and navigating to Plugins, Development, Overlord. The actions available in Overlord for Figma are very similar to Illustrator's. Create a new comp matching the selected Figma frame, or create a new frame matching the Active After Effects comp. Choose between the three main transfer types. Push Selection will transfer selected groups or frames as single layers and split ungrouped objects into their own layers. Split Layers will transfer all selected objects, regardless of grouping, as individual layers with group guide layers in After Effects. Single Layer will combine selected objects into a single After Effects layer. This transfer method has also been added to Illustrator. Some objects are not able to be combined when transferred, such as text layers and raster images. In this case, Overlord will transfer those objects as individual layers. When possible, parametric shapes and properties will be detected and preserved. This feature can be toggled by right-clicking the After Effects extension. The Precomp Frames checkbox will automatically pre-compose Figma frames when transferring to After Effects. You can easily decompose these precomps in After Effects using the Groups controls. If multiple versions of After Effects are running at the same time, or multiple Figma documents are open and using Overlord, you can switch between which version or document you'd like to transfer to by clicking on the corresponding app icon. Figma designs for mobile usage are often created at a resolution far too low for HD video, resulting in pixelated text, graphics, and images that need to be upscaled. Overlord can scale the Figma artwork to match the comp's width by right-clicking in the After Effects extension and selecting Scale Art to Comp Width. With this enabled, you can proportionately increase the resolution of a matching After Effects comp prior to transferring to increase the size of the artwork. Or if the artwork is already in After Effects and you still need it to be upscaled, you can use the built-in script Scale Compositions to increase the resolution of your comp. Go to File, Scripts, Scale Compositions, and choose the upscaling method that best suits your needs. And since Overlord transfers images at two times scale, you can double the resolution of your comp with no loss in quality. In addition to the Figma connection, you now also have the ability to customize the visible buttons in the Overlord app's Hosts section. After customizing the button list, click the Save button and the changes will take effect immediately. Other changes to Overlord in this update include, the Update Properties action is now its own button, there's now a preference for the Collapse Transform switch for pre-comps, and non-English versions of After Effects no longer create multiple Overlord folders when pre-composing. That's everything in this update. All of us at Battleaxe are excited to see how you use Overlord to bring Figma and After Effects together. Be sure to join the Battleaxe Discord server to get connected with the team and provide feedback. Head to battleaxe.co slash overlord to learn more and stay tuned for future updates.